Well, of course, I was here, retired after 43 years with the company. Um, we saw a lot of changes from the time I came to work and as far as the growth of the business. Uh, Mr. Schaefer's decision to, um, uh, to build core values and principles into the organization that would perpetuate it for many, many, many years to come. He made a conscious decision through his conversations and, and mentoring with a man by the name of Ralph Whitinger. Uh, about how to give the company away itself. And to do that, you really have to build people up, grow an organization from inside, and one piece at a time, one value at a time, uh, one principle at a time, as well as one share of stock at a time, begin to give it away. We opened up some uh, outside uh, of Muncie, some individual warehouses uh, to better serve customers. Uh, Along the way, I went to Chicago for about five years. I was in Chicago from 69 to 1975, ran a sales and warehouse operation in Chicago. Uh, first warehouse was in Atlanta. Chicago was the second one. Uh, then we opened one in Kansas City, and then we opened one in Dallas. And, and uh, So those were really growth years. Our major supplier of our power takeoff line uh, chose that they did not want us as a distributor any longer. Long in the, the late 70s, early 80s, automotive industry kind of hit a dry spell and a softness in the economy. So we kind of retrenched and rethought some of those things. Um, we had always been a key partner with Dana Corporation's Chelsea division because we didn't manufacture anything in those days. Um, we were buying Chelsea power takeoffs but we bought them with Muncie logos and Muncie identification plates. And for a company our size, that was more than half of our business, and to be cut off without a supply of product was uh, rather um, devastating, to say the least. The relationship was a little strained. Uh, they had problems producing in a timely manner and delivering product to us because they also supplied a lot of other people in the industry. And uh, it got to the point where it was really kind of hurting our growth. And so in the late 70s, we started looking around. By this time, I'd come back to Muncie. We started looking around for how, how can we help ourselves. This company that was making power takeoffs for us, Vickers Corporation, which I had mentioned was owned by Libby Owens Ford, uh, they sold that, wanted to sell that operation. Uh, prior to that, we were just a buy-sell company. We bought power takeoffs from a group called Chelsea. We bought pumps from another group, and you know we were basically at their mercy when it came to markets that we couldn't penetrate because of pricing. And so, by buying the, the PTO company in Tulsa, that put us in the manufacturing business and gave us control of our destiny over the uh, pump line or the PTO line. That took a lot of deliberation, uh, a lot of planning, and. Um, uh, obviously, it was very successful. I think Mr. Schaefer was in his mid-70s at that time, and he took everything he had uh, to secure the loan to buy the plant. And so he put everything he had built and everything he had done for his 50 years and put it into that that purchase of the plant and into trusted into us as a group to manage that and make it work. And I thought that was a pretty significant event, in my opinion, for somebody to put everything he had into a decision that he really didn't have control of, that we as a group did. We were kind of a management and training group. And uh, it originally was three or four of us, and it would eventually expand into maybe six. And then as the company grew, we were delegated. And one of Hamer's favorite expressions was, it's okay to delegate, but don't abdicate. <laughs> and what he meant was, it's okay to give somebody the responsibility, but then you've got to check back and follow up and, and uh, make sure it's being done. That, and that was one of the successes of the, the business was that we were able to communicate our operating philosophies, how we wanted things done. Five people, I believe, if I count them up right, uh, that were really key, and that is Joe Wilson, the, uh, the president when I first came on board, or actually the, the chairman and CEO, uh, Terry Walker, uh, was the acting president and COO at the time, um, Ken Briner, and um, Chris Fancher. And those, those guys really were the, uh, the people selected by Hamer and Phyllis Schaefer as the next generation. And they, they stuck together, they were close, they knew what they were after, 
They had the same de decision-making process year after year after year. All those things really pushed the company forward in a very, very consistent direction. Ron Cracky, who's been retired now for several years, was a, was a big part of this story because uh, he was the gentleman that we hired to run the plant in Tulsa. We weren't manufacturing people. We didn't know how to run a manufacturing plant, but he, he took care of that for us, and, and he did that. Uh, we had a couple gals. Uh, Jackie King was the uh, accounting supervisor when I became controller, and you know she was the one that actually taught me how it was going to be and how we were going to run the department. And you know I I might have been the lieutenant, but she was the gunny. And and we have actually, in my opinion, many more milestones that are they're going to be.